welcome to episode 10 of the GPNZ vlog. Uh, how's it going? It's been a very interesting last two weeks. There's been lots of uh, highs and lots of lows. So last time I forgot to mention I won um, a game of mini golf free voucher because uh, business card draw and um, it's pretty good when you got a unique business card with a giant pumpkin on it. So that's been pretty lucky for me. I won a $100 meal voucher um, and all sorts, so that's good. <sighs> it's hot. I hate this humidity. And uh, earlier on, a um, couple of weeks ago, I took my producer to the Weekbix Kids Triathlon, which is crazy. And I had my uh, little banner up there to help her find her bike during transition, so that was pretty cool. Here we are at the uh, Weekbix Kids Triathlon. Super, super busy, lots of kids. Here with the producer of the uh, vlog and uh, videos that I produce. So, uh, I don't know, a couple of thousand kids here. Um, just finished, got to try and get a bike. Pretty crazy. Uh, just got to find the bike. Where are we going to find it? Down here. Oh, the sign got a hammering. To help find your bike, having a sign helps giant pumpkins, New Zealand. Okay, started the car, off to the pumpkin carnival meeting, had a really good, oh, there we go, that's probably better, had a good uh, talk with a podcast guest, the technology worked really well, the interview is crystal clear, really happy with how that works, looking forward to talking to more people. It's super hot, I have to go turn on the aircon or I'm going to die in this car. Uh, ooh. So here we are, I'm with Dennis, Dennis is over there, uh, we're at Dennis's house today for the Great Pumpkin Carnival committee meeting, I'm here a bit early because as previously mentioned the, um, the pumpkin mascot suit should be here before everyone else so I'm keen to see that. Here's Anita with a pumpkin, <laughs> she's so excited to show everyone it. We had our committee meeting for the Great Pumpkin Carnival and we've now got a mascot suit and we haven't named it yet we're getting people to name that for us so that'll be very cool and uh, during that when I was recording that uh, there was a black spot uh, right about there and uh, couldn't get rid of it thought it was the lens but it actually turns out it was the sensor was dirty so I had to get some more stuff um, it's super noisy now because my flatmates come home so that was really cool. So uh, it turns out that the black spot was actually something on the sensor. I had to go and get a sensor cleaning kit, which sounds very, very scary because you have to prod the uh, internals of your camera and hope that you don't damage it. But it seemed to work pretty well and I'm really happy that I know how to do that now. Events, what events are coming up? I'm going to the Kumu AMP show. I'm going to go check that out. I'm also going to go down to the Martin Harvest Festival. They have a 50 meter pool, so remember that. Hopefully I'll get the shot of that pool if you're lucky. So um, you guys can come along with me on those trips and um, I'm going to see what else there is and what else I can make it to. So that should be interesting. Now, onto the pumpkin plant, onto my plant. I was going to have some really bad news this week. Um, so I've got, I set up a Facebook group for the Southern Hemisphere Giant Pumpkin Growers and we've got a new member called Beck, and it turns out she's actually growing in a smaller space than I am. So I can't claim that I'm growing in the world's smallest giant pumpkin patch. She's growing in a one meter square for dirt, the rest of it's sort of concrete, sort of like how mine is. And um, what she's got, she's actually put bags of compost down under main points of the vine, cut that open and then buried the vine in that which I think is a great idea and it's given me lots of things to think about for next year so that was going to be my sad news as a bit of a joke but I really do have sad news so the pumpkin plant here has had a tremendous amount of late stage growth nice green leaves everywhere all the original stuff's dying off usual stuff but the pumpkin didn't appear to be growing and I thought something was wrong with it and well Check this out. It's like a deflated soccer ball. Mmm, not good. So, 
my season's over. The pumpkin is rotted from the inside out. Um, this humid, humid weather cannot be helping. I know a lot of people, especially first time growers, which is always a bummer, have had trouble. And um, so I guess there's nothing really left to do apart from take down this cover, rip out all this plant, and then uh, we'll check out how gross this pumpkin is, eh? So, it's starting to rain, but as you can see, it's just a skin. Let's have a look underneath. Ah. Oh. So there we go, that's the end of this vlog, um, hopefully uh, everything's going well for you, for those people checking with Tim, his pumpkin's still looking great, he's still got about 450 pounds to put on to reach his goal, um, should be doable, we'll see how he goes, um, make sure to come join us on Facebook. So until next time, I hope everything's going well and make sure to check in in two weeks time where I'll have episode 11 on the vlog for you to check out. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you.